My whole life is about rhythm. Once you're in the Grateful Dead, you're in the Grateful Dead forever. Now, I'd like to do something with it as it's as important as playing Grateful Dead music. See, the thing about music is that you take the feeling that you get from music and you take it out in the world and you do some good with it. It can be used for other things than dancing and pleasure. It can be used as medicine. When I played a drum for my grandmother, who had Alzheimer's, she spoke my name. She hadn't spoken in a year. That was power. Where did it come from? How, how did this do that? Mickey is wearing an EEG cap here, and each of these electrodes are detecting those very subtle signals um, that have rhythmic activity being generated by the neurons in his brain. Quite a nice looking brain. Mickey sh Thank you. Thank should you. be I proud like, of that I like brain. it. Okay, so this is live recording right now for Mickey's brain. It's very supple, you know, and it does a lot of things, and it's really hard to, to uh, destroy it unless you really try really hard. And I've tried. The only way to find the code on how music works is through science. And that's my relationship with Adam Ghazali and other scientists to find how does it work on the brain. So if you can prescribe a certain rhythmic treatment and actually validate that there's an outcome that's reproducible, um, it would be a really powerful way of looking at modern medicine. Absolutely no doubt in my mind, once we decode this music and learn how to use it on a daily basis, you will be able to prescribe music for certain kinds of ailments. It seems like a very natural thing from my research in music and medicine. The shaman use drums, they use rattles and all of their forms of healing. So it's not something that we're inventing, but we're progressing because of science. I'm a work in progress. I don't know if I'm following the muse or the muse is following me, but I would think this would be more meaningful to many people that have followed me for 40, 50 years. You know, seeing where it's all taken me, I'm not playing the same old songs. So I'm taking these waveforms and I'm creating and reimagining music around them. The thing about music is you can do it till the day you die. There's no music police, or there's nobody tells you to retire, or you're too old to enjoy the vibrations and be with music.